What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. So, while I mark this off on my recording thingy, where we left off? Well, we smashed the Prussians in multiple battles and we ca captured Moscow. The city is ours. Now it's time to turn it into an economic powerhouse. But first, we must engage these, these Prussians that remain stubbornly in our lands. So let's destroy them. So we've taken Moscow, we're pushing up to Archangel, so we're getting to the point where well, we now do have a border with Sweden. Which may cause problems, but we've also uh, unlocked Steam Engine, which means the top tier industrial buildings down the Weaver Tech Tree and down the Smith Tech Tree are available. Which means we're about to be making some serious amounts of cash. Okay, actually, let's clear this area out. Let's drop some guns up on this high piece of ground. My howitzers can follow me. Something like that. Follow them with the melee infantry. They've got a lot of cavalry. So that melee infantry is going to pay dividends for us. Let's put my janissaries on the left. General on the centre. I did accidentally blow a bunch of my own infantry's heads off. Here. To be honest, my house is probably in a good enough position anyway. Mamluk guards intercept the Ulans, Israeli, hunker down, form square. Squares across the board on this on the left flank. It's a lot of cavalry. Come on, make them shatter. Good. Fall back. Allow the squares to do their job. Put my skirmishes up on this hill. Cavalry behind, pikes behind. Damn, these look good. No, you aim at them. Deploy the pikes. Again, I don't want to occupy the wall. That's their pike then. So let's move my cavalry in a position ready to... mow down there, Dragoons. Th 
try and lose so much. Janissary's in on the flank. Let's pivot this line infantry. Climbing artillery is doing work, even though I've not really seen it. There we go, my Samak Janissaries are charging in. Yes, there goes their regiment of horse. If I can chase them down a bit and shatter them, that'd be lovely. There we go. Charge on into the infantry. This Nizam infantry is ready. Firing on the light horse that still exists. The pikemen are... Okay, my skirmishers are going to... leg it. Swiss pikemen. from my pikes run their cavalry away from my pikes you attack that regiment don't worry about these swiss pikemen there you go so now I can pick them apart with my riflemen a bit and then So thin them out a bit. You hold fire. Then charge into the rear. Shaken, wavering. Shattered. That's how you defeat pikemen with your own cavalry. You just fix them. In this case, I fixed them with other pikemen, but it can be anything. We're going to continue because I don't know who's shattered and who isn't. Although, to be honest, I think it's most of them. Just keep chasing them down and killing them. Destroy him! It's one guy. There we go. <sighs> so it's only the infantry now that are going to get away that remain. Although, these guys might suffer some losses before they get there. Oh yeah, they've been picked apart a little bit. But that's a good win. We've gutted their forces. And they've lost... They've only got 350 men remaining. Can't, can't replenish because I've got no money. Obviously because I've decided to do that at the end of my turn. You're marching up to Komi to convert the town... We've done these new towns, we've done the buildings. No tech is immediately on the horizon for the next few turns. 
There we go, my agents are finally getting into the places I need them to be. As the Brits and everyone squabble in the Americas. Interesting, is that another... Another two ships to take? They're sending their priests. It's a becoming a religious war. This is why I need more religious buildings so that I can protect my core while at the same time generating priests to, do, to go on the offensive. Yeah, I'd fall back if I were you. Gonna continue to raid and that's fine. I'm lucky the Russians didn't decide to raid that religious building. I do need to strengthen Moscow because you can see there's three, nearly three Swedish stacks up there. Assassin in Crimea, which is good. I want them to come try and kill some of these priests. Got it. Another Eastern Scholar, good, to replace the one that died. Okay, so we've got a, lot, a bunch of ports have been blockaded. Factories. Some good upgrades. But let's pick up some of these. The Madrasa, not yet. You're a prosperous mill, so you're going to make me more cash. Migi yield mine. Abundant yield farm. Oh, it's palatial estate. Actually improves happiness. Be useful in Ankara, really, because they are they they are, they are unhappy. Let's do some flat upgrades to farms across the field, across the just across the board. Come on, the next farm. There it is. See, we've got so much stuff we could do with, you know, we could do with having much more cash than we actually have. Just auto that. Go replenish with what you can. So these ships, heavy privateer, heavy privateer. So let's take this bunch. We don't want it. We'll have the cash. Then Leon. We don't want it. We'll have the cash. Firstly, the cash is going to go on repairing these ships. It's about half of it, but the other half provides us with some opportunities to rebuild or to repair some of the damage done in Moscow. It's a low yield mine. Wealthy Iron Masters works, but I can't fix it. There we go, now we can tax them again. You're on the move, you're on the move. To be honest, there's nothing we can. Nothing I really want to do until I need. until I get more uh, buildings completed. Although, I might take this opportunity to clear out. These buildings lost 700 men against that army there. Just 
I'll try and clear the way so that I can send one of these guys up to secure, or try and attempt to secure Minsk and push. We've got four armies here at this front to push north and try and take some more enemy territory. So let's hit end turn. Chiefly, it's a question of income now. <coughs> maximizing well as always it's the maximum maximizing the use of your money but what you can clearly see is that our dem the demand the demands on our money and our economy just a second everyone the demands on our money oh sorry when you can hear a plane outside um the demands on our economy are huge like not only have we got our own upgrades to do to roll out but we've also got our repairing buildings damaged by enemy forces and you can see the prussians are still driving men east but then again they do have some very wealthy regions in central europe so they do definitely have the capital yet yeah, the prussians are falling back because i suppose they're at war with russia as well Petrovskaya is acting as a forward recruitment centre. Oh, means in Minsk are advancing. At some point, we are going to have to break the Swedish hold on uh, on our territory. We have to take Finland and St. Petersburg and all that lovely stuff. But we need to roll out economic reform. Well, I've actually done quite well. I did quite well actually last time, not having a single audio problem in my last video. Considering it was an hour long. Okay, this army replenish. March north, ready to intercept that Russian army. Let's repair a lot of this Russian. A lot of these Russian buildings. So we're already building a madrasa up there. A bit of a dodgy position, really. Got a craft workshop down here. Let's repair this Iron Master's works. Just focus on repairing everything first. He says after immediately building something else. Place your state carpet weavers. Just sink a. Okay, let's build a Admiral's flagship first rate. And another first rate. And another second rate. Actually, let's just do the one. And then infrastructure. We want met we do want metal roads in these areas back here, really. Well, I think. Palatial estates are useful to build because they do just... That's the end of their tree. I do like building things that are the end of their tree. But to be honest, we do need to build roads as well. We can also find cheap upgrades. Good stuff. Could upgrade the madrasa. It's tempting because they've left it alone. Construction report completed. Lots of great estates. Craft workshops have been built. Okay, you can now march north and not be bothered so much. You need two grand to replenish, so you're not going to be advancing anytime soon. But we are pushing, ready to intercept some of these Russian forces. Okay, again, it's going to be another burn, another end turn. So Hungary is going back to Catholicism. Evet. 
I try to take out this other priest? Damn. This guy. It's pretty good. So much so it slowed the spread of Catholicism in Hungary. There you go. Try to infiltrate Iraq, or not Iraq, Berlin. See what they're building. You infiltrate Vilnius. Although it looks like it's about to be attacked by Prussia. By Michael Kuhl. Big army. And that army that's fallen back from Moscow. Yeah, so they can probably have two armies here ready to jump on St. Petersburg. When the time presents itself. There's no ports that develop up here, which is a shame. But have we added furs to our trade? Well, we've already got loads of furs, but we should have added some more because we've got a fur trapper post here, one to the north. Logging camp as well. But let's hit end turn. Don't worry, soon we will be at war with the entire continent, I suspect. Good god, that's another... That's two Prussian stacks heading our way. Oh no, one's fallen back. I thought they were going to go for Vilnius, but apparently not. But yeah, I'm quite happy to spend the next few turns spending all the money we get on economic improvements. Mainly because that, that's what just keep fundamentally keeps the keeps the campaign running, you know. Um, if you spread yourself too thin, and during especially during a time of relative strength that we've got now, it behooves us to attempt to try and build build stronger foundations for our empire because we don't have any immediate threats to kill. I mean, we are at war with people, and we are going to continue to be at war with people. There you go, 32 grand. That's the sort of money we're talking about popping. Okay, you guys replenish. Okay, let's keep the economic rollout going. States and oh, these are oh, that's some of these. You need more men now, so you can do with you've got cavalry. Yeah, you've got cavalry. Royal Janissary Guards. Let's get two two Semat Janissaries and then two more regular line infantry. It's probably a good idea. Then that army will be done. Let's upgrade the palatial estate, upgrade the mines. Could upgrade this commercial basin, but we've already uh, upgrade to a global trading company, I mean. But we've already got a bunch of those. Okay, let's build some roads. Because I know I am short of roads. Astrakhan's getting roads. You can have cobbled roads. Ufa has metal. The Komi can get cobbled. Archangel can get cobbled and repair. And probably get a fair market. Can you leave, Archangel? Yes, you can. March onward to Petrovskaya. So this army is replenishing. March north. And what should upgrade this to? Upgrade this to a madrasa as well. Whoops. Just because it frees up this agent to then advance somewhere else, maybe to Poland. Got 
stop doing that. Make sure everyone's being replenished as much as they can. Good. No immediate attacks. Lots of traits gained. Lots of successful missions. Three pounders. Yeah, they're putting a lot of effort into holding this area. More effort than I am, I think. Erpard Spielmann, Ernst Straber, Straber, Strasser. Okay. Yeah, every turn, every turn we crank out, our economy just gets stronger and stronger. Not that long ago, we were about, about we were at around 22,000, 19,000 a turn. And then last time we just got 32. And this thing is cumulative. You know, the the more you sink on your economy, the faster it grows, and so on and so on and so on. Look, Poland's taken Vilnius. Not Poland, Prussia. Don't worry, they will not. They will not withstand us. Yeah, the change in their front line has caused them to decide to change or to do some manoeuvring on the front line. Obviously one of them has just run around us. Classic AI. Mughals are fighting the pirates. So they just cleared out a pirate fleet outside of uh, the Bahamas, which was nice. The Mughals have... I don't know where all these scholars have come from. So it was 32 last time, now it's 38. this army go hit Mr. Bogdanov. I'm pretty sure we can do that. Yeah, I can. So you march down to here. We will hit them. I just want to do some other stuff first. Craft workshop in Ukraine. Steam-powered factory. Oh, yes. Abundant yield mines. Mig yield mine. Palatial state. The name of the game. Just keep upgrading things. Three steam powered carpet mills are going to be growing in Baghdad. And Baghdad's earning 14,000 a turn, growing 126. And it's about to get a hell of a lot faster. London's at 20,000. Istanbul's at 6, Ankara's at 12. Cairo's 13, Damascus 10, Baghdad 14, Isfahan 12. Baghdad's my currently my most economically powerful region. Interesting. Should really start to translate some of this into gains for the navy. And in Kiev, let's pick up some... I need the, I need the rifles upgrade for the Nizam rifles. Can I not get any basic Nizam infantry? Yeah, I can. Pick up some infantry here. Just start to get ready to fill the gaps. Alliance broken between Britain and Austria. Has Britain attacked somewhere? No. It, it was my colour on the map. I thought they'd done something. But they have taken Iceland. I wonder if that's probably what it's to do with. With a very basic army. Brussels may be next. So this navy's still doing a good job out here. Did 
Don't worry. Don't worry, Denmark. Your uppance will come. Okay, so let's take this fella. Attack Yosef of Charenko. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Ottomans. Cheers, everyone.